स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग एकनामिक स्ट्रक्चर आलरे मैं कांसप्ट आलरे डिस्क ब्लैक बॉडी रेडिएशन अंड प्लांट क्वांटम थीरी इन मै प्रीविय क्लास स्टूडेंट्स वी आर डिस्कसिंग सम इंपारटेंट प्रॉब्लम स्टूडेंट यु नो वन थिंग In objective point of view, particularly IIT JEE aspirants and NEET aspirants, we are always careful towards problematic uh, concepts, particularly in chemistry. Because while we look at previous examination question papers in entrance examinations, problematic questions are always dominate compared to the theoretical ones. Okay, and that's why here students we are always uh, uh, put more concentration on problems. So students, after the completion of Planck's quantum theory, and now let me come into another important topic, dear students, and that's what we call simply photoelectric effect. Very very important one, students. Photoelectric effect, most important one, students. We know one thing. I love this concept very. Well. Okay, you know what's the reason behind that? Because this is the concept proposed by Mr. Einstein in the year 1905. And for this great explanation concept, photoelectric effect, which is given by Mr. Einstein, he got a Nobel Prize. Okay, <coughs> just look at that. Just look at that. So Einstein got Nobel Prize, and this is a great lecture about photoelectric effect. Students, very very important one. Now let me coming to what is photoelectric effect. First of all, we are ready to write the definition, students. You please follow me, okay? Students, when a light a suitable frequency is incident on a metal plate then a section of electrons takes place their students from metal surface and this phenomena what we call dear students photoelectric effect a simple representation students just imagine we have a metal plate here suppose to be potassium dear students or cesium whatever it may be a metal plate whenever a light of suitable frequency incident on it then absolutely electrons are Ejected out. Just look at electrons are ejected out from the metal surface, and this phenomena, what we call simply, dear students, photoelectric effect. Photo means some light incident on a metal plate, then ejection of electrons takes place, and that's why this effect, what we call simply photoelectric effect, dear students. Is it clear? So this is basically what is photoelectric effect. Dear students, and you know one thing: the electrons, the electrons which are coming from metal surface is simply called photoelectrons. Dear students, and the current. Which is generated due to the migration of electrons, due to the ejection of electrons, and that current is simply called it as the students photo current. Keep in mind. That's what we call simply photo current. Very very important work, dear students. So this is basically photo electric effect. When the light of suitable frequency is incident. On a metal plate, then from the metal surface, electrons are ejected out, and they give some current, and 
and that's what we call photo current and the ejection of electrons what we call photo electrons dear students students you know one thing especially potassium and cesium show high photo electric effect it means from these metal surfaces dear students from these metal surfaces electrons are easily ejected out when compared to the rest of elements okay now again the reason why only we choose potassium and cesium uh, to give best photoelectric effect sir i give reason uh, later in my this lecture okay and students where we apply photoelectric effect sir are you ever seen photoelectric effect in our daily life students and this photoelectric effect is obviously applicable during the working of solar cells are you got it solar energy and time madam em jarutundre nanna solar plates lo when a light sunlight is incident on solar plate and solar cells convert that light energy into which energy is our electrical energy keep in mind so all solar cells works on what principles sir they works on simply photoelectric effect dear students because solar cells just look at in the solar plate what happens so sir some light is incident on a solar plate and the cell inside the solar just convert that light energy dear students directly into which energy is our electrical energy keep in mind very very important one so this is basically students what is photo electric effect dear students students now let me come to a diagrammatic representation of photo electric effect we have two electrode students one axis cathode and one axis anode and both are connected to a battery and also a bulb is also placed in the circuit to check whether the current is produced or not okay <laughs> and an ammeter is that students an ammeter is also that to measure what amount of current produced in the circuit and students when we look at that this is bulb to produce some light and students this is what we call a metal plate are you got it say this is potassium or cesium or whatever it may be that is a metal plate and students when we observe one thing when light is incident on this particular metal light is incident on this particular metal then observe you feel electrons are ejected out electrons are ejected out and these electrons under vibration these electrons under movement they create some current due to which the bulb becomes glow is clear and we also measure the amount of current which is produced in this photoelectric effect with the help of ammeter dear students and this is what we call photoelectric effect this is happens in solar cells solar cells are the cells which convert light energy directly into electrical energy keep in mind so obviously solar cells works on what principle sir solar cells works on uh, simply photoelectric effect dear students but students the surprising thing made by mr einstein is you just look at that say this is a metal plate just imagine that is a metal plate which metal is sir potassium metal and this is another metal not another metal same metal you can see again potassium metal okay students just look at what is going on a high intense red color keep in mind high intense red color very 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 high intense high intense means what sir high intense means thick red color thick red color radiation okay incident on potassium plate but dear students no electrons are ejected here means no photo electric effect keep in observe whereas in another case dear students pale yellow color keep in mind pale yellow color very 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 low intense yellow color keep in mind 
But students, surprisingly, when pale yellow incident on potassium metal, students, electrons are ejected out. Just observe what is going on here. Means, yes, here, photoelectric effect takes place. Very, very important one. Here, photoelectric effect takes place. Sir, how it is going on, sir? A high intense red color is incident on potassium, but no electrons are ejected out. Whereas, pale yellow, a dull yellow color white, incident on potassium metal, electrons are ejected out. Means, students, the ejection of electrons which is takes place in photoelectric effect never depends on intensity of color radiation. Keep in mind. Are you got it? Okay, now, a very, very important one. Now, it depends upon what, sir? Depends upon what? Yes, students, we just look at what is going on. Now, let me come into a Vigiar zone. I remember Vigiar zone? From violet to red color, dear students, wavelength increase. Are you got it? Whereas, from red color to violet color, frequency increase, dear students. Because, because frequency and wavelength both are inversely related. Is it clear? So, students, when we look at one thing here, when a red color white is incident on potassium plate, no electrons are ejected out. Whereas, a yellow color white is incident on potassium plate, electrons are ejected out. While we coming to frequency relation between red color and yellow color, obviously yellow color has more frequency than red color because frequency increases from red to violet, keep in mind. Means the frequency of yellow color is always greater than frequency of red color. Please observe that part. Okay. Now, Einstein simply gives an idea. Just look at what he proposed. So, every metal, keep in mind students, every metal has its own characteristic, dear students, minimum frequency, underline the word, minimum frequency, curl, dear students, threshold frequency. What about this is? Threshold frequency. Simply represented with the letter nu naught to exhibit or to show photoelectric effect. So, photoelectric effect ni chupin chalante. Ejection of electrons zergalante. So, every metal has the minimum frequency and there is a characteristic frequency. One metal has its own individual threshold frequency. Okay. So, dear students, whenever the incident light has a frequency greater than threshold frequency, then only ejection of electrons takes place. Otherwise, it doesn't. Haha, <laughs> we are confused. Students, now let me explain. Okay. Uh, students, let us consider potassium metal. Okay. No confusion, guys. Simple topics on this earth. Okay. Mm, no bother about this one. Potassium metal. And we have threshold frequency for potassium metal simply 5 into 10 power 14 H. While we coming to, students, while we coming to frequency of red color radiation, which is around 4.22, their students, uh, 4.2 into 10 power 14 hedges to 4.6 into 10 power 14 hedges. Students, no confusion because red color show different intensities. Pale red, okay now, moderate red, thick red, depends on that. This is a range of uh, red color frequency. Students, what we coming to? Yellow color, uh, what we call yellow color uh, radiation frequency, which is almost Dear students, 5.2 into 10 power 14 hedges to almost 5.6 into 10 power 14 hedges. So, we just look at this experiment. Red color radiation incident on potassium plate, no electrons are ejected out. Whereas, yellow color incident on potassium plate, electrons are ejected out. What is the reason behind that, sir? 
students you know one thing you know one thing so ejection of electrons please observe always ejection of electrons takes place if and only if the incident light frequency students please observe that one the incident light frequency is always greater than its threshold frequency or nu naught of that metal okay so what is the nu is greater than nu naught then only ejection of electrons takes place so in case of potassium metal it has its own minimum frequency what we call threshold frequency in the range 5 into 10 power 14 hz whereas the red light frequency appears to be 4.2 to 4.6 in the range so students frequency of red light is absolutely less than threshold frequency of potassium and that's why there is no ejection of electrons takes place here Whereas in the case of yellow light, dear students, yellow light frequency is just look at the range 5.2 to 5.6 into 10 power 14 hedges. And in case of yellow light, dear students, yellow color light frequency is greater than threshold frequency of potassium plate. And that's why ejection of electrons takes place in case of yellow. But whereas in case of red light radiation, there is no ejection of electrons, dear students. So Einstein finally conclude the one great statement photoelectric effect takes place means ejection of electrons takes place if and only if the incident light frequency is always greater than nu naught. Sir what is nu naught sir? Sir minimum frequency achieved by each and every metal and that's what we call threshold frequency. Very very important statement students. So, what is the necessary conditions for for every metal to show photoelectric effect? Obviously, the incident light frequency is dominant than its threshold frequency. Please observe this one, dear students. Very, very important one. Okay. Students, and after that, we are talking to you a great important thing here. Students, just imagine this is a metal supposed to be potassium. Okay. And students, while we come to one thing, some light is incident on this potassium metal plate. Say it's a frequency mu. Mm. Sir, what is the threshold frequency of potassium? Sir, threshold frequency of potassium is nu naught. Then the thing is. Electrons are ejected out, students, electrons are ejected out from this metal plate if and only if the incident light frequency is greater than its threshold frequency, please observe this one. That is the necessary condition. Okay. <laughs> students, when we come into the energies, which is multiplied with H on both sides, H into nu is greater than H into nu naught. Is it fair? Means the incident light energy, and you remember, E is equal to H nu students, no confusion, according to Planck's quantum theory, okay? So H nu represent what, sir? H nu represent energy, energy, nothing but what it is, one quantum, okay? One H nu, one quantum. Because energy emission and absorption always takes place. In the form of small energy packets, what we call quantum. Okay, so this is energy of incident radiation. Okay, and this is what we call work function. Okay, now so students, we observe one thing here. H nu is always better than H nu naught means H nu minus H nu naught is absolutely gives. Some remaining amount of energy. Okay, students, suppose what is H in U naught star here? H in U naught is simply called it as work function, or we also call it as threshold energy. 
means to absorb, means some amount of energy always utilized for the ejection of electrons from this metal plate and, and suppose maybe that is the ionization energy of that metal plate we consider. Because ionization energy is nothing but amount of energy required for the removal of electron from outermost shell of an atom. And that's why obviously some energy is released. Not released, I'm sorry. Some energy is required for the ejection of electrons. Okay. So, what amount of minimum amount of energy required for the ejection of electrons? That's what we call threshold energy. And the work doing on for the removal of electrons, we call it as work function. Suppose, students, a hundred joules energy is incident on this metal plate, but only sixty joules energy is utilized for the ejection of electrons. So, H in nu is hundred joules, and work function H in nu naught is sixty joules. So, my question is, what about H in nu minus H in nu naught sub forty joules? Because hundred minus sixty. And these 40 joules utilized in what way, sir? And this gives Nobel Prize for Mr. Great Scientist Einstein. A remaining energy, I will play the Indi, sir. A statement, check back I am the Nobel Prize. Yellow, sir. Yellow, you play the Indi, remaining energy. Students, you just look at ejection of electrons. Once electron is coming out, it is always under motion. Any charged particle which is under motion associated with which energy is so, off? And no doubt at all, that is kinetic energy, dear students. And that's why, and that's why, dear students, the rest of energy, H nu minus H nu naught, is absolutely equals to kinetic energy of electron. Kinetic energy of electron, the rest of energy. So, remaining 40 joules of energy utilized as kinetic energy of electron for its movement in space. And that's why, dear students, while we coming to photoelectric effect equation, dear students, just observe this one. What is photoelectric effect equation? So, simply H in nu minus H in nu naught is equal to kinetic energy of electron means of m v square. M means what sort? M means the mass of electron. V means what sort? V means the velocity of electron. And it is simply is represented as here students, please observe that one. This is energy of incident radiation minus this is represented with a letter time and along with this is kinetic energy of ejected electron. So, this is the paper statement given by Mr. Einstein in the year 1905 and which brings a Nobel Prize for the great man in space. What is pi star here? In students, what is pi star here? The pi is nothing but H in nu naught, nothing but work function, or ah, we also call it as threshold energy. Yes, students. Is it clear? Students. <coughs> students, what we coming to? One important thing, three different cases in examination point of view, I am interested to explain. The first case is, sir, if Incident light frequency is greater than threshold frequency. Are you got it? What happens, sir? Are you, what happens, man? Ejection of electrons takes place. Just look at ejection of electrons takes place with some kinetic energy. Okay, now some kinetic energy associated by electron. Okay, so when we come to second case, if incident light frequency is less than mu naught, what happens, so? Hare, that's what I am saying. If mu is less than mu naught, there is no 
ejection of electrons means there is no photoelectric effect sir surprisingly third case if incident point frequency is absolutely equals to threshold frequency what happens to sir students mu is equal to mu naught just look at that mu is equal to mu naught means dear students ejection of electrons may take place ejection of electrons may take place but with what kinetic energy is on interesting one are mu is equal to mu naught means h mu minus h mu naught zero okay means the kinetic energy of ejected electron is absolutely zero is it clear means if mu is equal to mu naught ejection of electrons may take place but with which kinetic energy is on zero kinetic energy So an examination point of view, very very important an objective point of view. These three statements: electron coming out. Of course, electron is coming out, but it is static. Okay, it is not under moment because there is no energy for the it lies for its a vibration for its a moment. Because mu is equal to mu naught means h mu minus h mu naught absolutely zero. There is no additional amount of energy for the electron for its a moment. students are you got it so this is the important three conditions what we look at two words photo electric effect these students please observe this one and these are the equations what we heard photo electric effect equations please observe that one very very important one Students, now let me come into some important statements. We are ready to bring this concept to our head. The first one is effect of intensity of incident light. Keep in mind, dear students, intensity of incident light is always. Directly proportional to, dear students, the number of photo electrons ejected. Keep in mind. Okay. Means what, sir? Means students, just imagine. Say this is a metal plate. Okay. Some light is incident on. Light incident on a uh, which manner so absorption and emission takes place in the form of small energy packets and these are small energy packets just look at it just look at it small energy packets <laughs> okay so students here electrons are there inside the metal okay you know one thing each electron absorb only one quantum of energy okay now so one electron absorb one quantum of energy if intensity more means dear students intensity more means what sir intensity more means a more energy packets are absorbed by that metal more energy packets these are so this one if more energy packets are there one electron absorb one energy packet then more number of electrons is ejected out more number of electrons ejected out okay so what's more number of electrons ejected out photo current is also increases is not it okay because the electrons vibration gives current so photo electron i no, mean photo current is also a gradually increases and that's why dear students my statement the intensity of incident light field is always directly proportional to the number of their students photo electrons ejected and also this is directly proportional to photo current keep in mind but what type of intensity of light radiation emitted sir 
it absolutely absolutely for that light radiation first of all its a frequency is greater than threshold frequency then only addition of electrons takes place are red color ki potassium metal meeda nu enta high intensity unna light padesna electrons raavu kada endukante red color radiation ki potassium ka threshold frequency ka na frequency takkuva what about yellow color so what about yellow color radiation incident on potassium plate okay so from pale yellow to dark yellow means once intensity of yellow color radiation increases photo electrons coming is also increases and absolutely photo current is also increases only for yellow radiation not for red radiation because the basic statement basic condition to exhibit photoelectric effect is incident frequency is absolutely greater than threshold frequency are you got it so this is a first statement most important in examination point of view in one of the examination we just saw a question in the form of graph the graph is the students this is photo current and this is intensity of incident p okay what type of graph we are expected sir no doubt at all straight line passing through origin because both are directly related intensity increase number of photo electrons coming out increase photo current is also increase both are directly related is straight line passing through origin this is clear okay. okay and students now let me come into second factor which affects photo electric what it is frequency yes so next frequency of incident light keep in mind frequency of incident light depends upon what sir frequency of incident light depends upon the kinetic energy of accepted electron keep in mind this always depends on the kinetic energy of accepted electron intensity never depends on kinetic energy of excited electron keep in mind not depend sorry intensity doesn't affect the kinetic energy of excited electron only frequency affects the kinetic energy of excited electron okay number of photo electrons excited depends upon what sir number of photo electrons excited depends upon intensity but now frequency no no let now let me explain let me explain Let me explain. Say this is potassium metal. Suppose this is metal. Ah, uh, students. Okay. Ah, uh, this is high frequency. Okay, and this is low frequency. Suppose both frequencies are greater than threshold frequency. Ah, uh, uh, for our convenience, just imagine this is five into ten power fourteen H S students. Okay, and this is some seven into ten power fourteen H S. And this is six into ten power fourteen hs. Okay, so both radiations are capable to show photoelectric effect because both frequencies are greater than threshold frequency. This is also the point. But but students, but students, when you come to one thing, what is the difference between these two, sir? What is the difference between these two? Seven minus five, almost two into. 10 power 14 hz frequency difference what about difference between these two sir 6 minus 5 only 1 into 10 power 14 hz this is frequency frequency difference okay we just multiply it with h we just multiply it with h that is a rest of energy and the rest of energy implies it as what so rest of energy is implies it as a kinetic energy says sir So where we expected more kinetic energy in this case, you know why? You know why? Because their frequency is high. Simple as it. Simple explanation. High frequency of incident light radiation. More is the kinetic energy of excited electron. Okay. So that's why kinetic energy of excited electron depends upon only frequency of incident light, but not intensity. Okay, the intensity increases. Say, 
number of photo electrons ejected increases the power kinetic energy of ejected electron is not at all effect because once intensity increase number of energy packets increase each electron absorb one energy packet that's why number of photo electrons ejected increase that's it so intensity never affects kinetic energy of ejected electron kinetic energy of ejected electron is only depends on frequency of incident light in this manner they are seen and we just look at a small graph just look at a small graph okay this is frequency and this is kinetic energy okay what type of graph we are expected so and once again we are expected a straight line passing through origin no no okay and this is the curve what we achieve why sir why this is not passing through origin hey man Ejection of electron takes place if and only if first of all we cross some minimum frequency man, and that's what we call threshold frequency. Threshold frequency ni that ekay kada electron bite kochye. Aa tarawa thamu frequency bench to unte kinetic energy ko increase kar unte. Origin ekay zero frequency da. Zero frequency jagar electron ekay rosto ni bite ki. So electron ejected out if and only if. The incident frequency is greater than you know not. Just look at it. That's why this is the graph. What we achieved. Most important thing. And students, now let me come into another. <laughs> okay, confused. Just look at it. Uh, okay. Uh, what graph? What graph? Where is it? Graph? Okay. Ah, uh, this is kinetic energy. Hmm. And this is intensity of incident B. Intensity of incident B. Sir, what type of graph? Uh, this is the year, sir. Students, intensity never affects kinetic energy. Keep in mind, whatever the intensity going on, the kinetic energy of ejected electron is always fixed and is always constant. Keep in mind. Means, students, the kinetic energy of ejected electron, kinetic energy of ejected electron, never depends on intensity. It depends on only frequency. Means, students. This is, dear students, what we call simply photoelectric effect. Sir, we are starting to learn about it. Potassium, cesium, natrium, and so on. More photoelectric effect in your system, I am in. Because potassium and cesium have a very very low threshold frequency values. Low threshold frequency values means what, sir? Low threshold frequency values means. Some minimum frequency light incident on them, they are capable to give electrons. Threshold frequency is not good. If we have threshold frequency, if we have a metal atom, then we have to give a lot of frequency to the light bulb. So why potassium and cesium show high high photoelectric effect? So because their threshold frequency value is very very less compared to the rest of all metals. Keep in mind. Is it clear? And that's why potassium and cesium exhibit such a huge photoelectric effect, dear students. Students, hey, this is photoelectric effect. Most important in examination right now. So this is all theory, yes. Okay. And tomorrow class, we are discussing so many problems which are coming, you know, previous examination point of view. Hey, so we are always uh, ready to catch. The intensity and depth of the subject. Okay, now students. So, if you love this concept, if you like this concept, you just made a small um, uh, what we call comment. <laughs> okay, now uh, please, students, please. Thank you. Each and everyone. Bye now. Take care.